I really, I, we try to reach folks for Christ the best way we know how, don't we? Amen. And we hope that God will, will let those seeds grow. Like I said this morning, find that, that place of water. Amen. And, and start planting some seeds. Find somebody that's got just a little bit of water in their life. And God will give the increase. Psalms chapter number 34 tonight. Psalms chapter number 34. Amen. We're going to read verses, starting verse 1. I'm going to read a few verses here tonight. But I, I, I want to focus on verse 8, which just about everybody knows it. It's been made in all kinds of plaques. It's been put on walls and pictures and carved into stone and all kinds of different places. Put on aprons and, and in kitchens. Uh, hey man, that, uh, and so it's very well known. I, I just want to preach a simple message to us tonight. And so verse 1, the psalmist begins to tell us about how good the Lord is. And I, I, want, you know, I have this note above my psalm here. I don't know if you do in your Bible, but it says it's a psalm of David when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away and he departed. And so... Uh, this this is uh, I, I don't know maybe this is, could be considered a psalm to Absalom uh, or Abimelech I'm sorry uh, you know telling him you know I, you can you've drove me out but I still have a better way Hallelujah but anyway verse one I will bless the Lord at all times and His praise shall continually be in my mouth can we say that tonight Hallelujah I, I would like to be able to say that His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And the, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Amen. I knew a man once who I can honestly say I felt like he had this. He had all kinds of problems. He had kidney to, kidney problems, heart problems, diabetes, uh, gout. Uh, had to have his feet amputated. I mean, just uh, you would look at him and think that's a miserable man. But every time you talk to him, I, he, you couldn't, you really could, honestly could not talk to him for two minutes. I've never been in a conversation once with him for two minutes before he started telling you how good the Lord was. He said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Now he says, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. He many, I, I just want you to note there tonight that he recognized his state. Did he not? Hey man, he understood he was in a poor place. This poor man, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles. Hey man, I, I, can, I feel like that's what we can tell the world. Don't you? I was once a sinner, but now I'm saved by grace. Hey man, I was once lost, but now I'm found blind. But now I see how this poor man prayed and God heard him. Amen. And saved him. Hey Amen. Verse 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about thee them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, glory to God. Now here is where we want to focus tonight. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. <laughs> Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, there's all kinds of things. You could go on reading. You could read about the lions that lack and they suffer hunger and hand, uh, but they that seek the Lord and I, you could talk about all the blessings. We're going to stop there. Hey, man, there's all kinds of things and we'll talk about some of them tonight. You can read through there. But oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hey, man, I'm going to give you some figures tonight that will probably blow your mind for just a few of them. Amen. And probably, probably blow your mind. Did you know tonight that in this nation there's these places we can eat at? Amen. Called, but we now have dubbed them fast food restaurants. Because there in a matter of minutes, you can get a fully prepared, prepared meal. 
Amen. It, it doesn't. It might not be very full of nutrients. It might not have a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. But you can get something to fill your stomach in a matter of minutes. And if you have to wait in line for five minutes after you've ordered your food, you would just about go to pieces, don't we? <laughs> Amen. Uh, this is fast food. Whoa, I don't I've been waiting for five minutes. Uh, it, yet you go home and you expect it to take you 30 minutes to prepare a meal. Amen. Right? Hallelujah. But we have these things called fast food restaurants. And, and over 25% of Americans eat fast food at least once a day. Amen. Have a, have a meal at a fast food restaurant once a day. Now that probably doesn't surprise you too much. But do you know that there are 50 oh, or close to probably over 50,000 fast food chains in America. Now that's not just including the restaurants. Uh, that's just fast food chains. Amen. Uh, over 50,000 of them in this great country that we live. Now, if you want to expand that worldwide, there are over 500,000 fast food restaurant chains. Amen. Now, we, we all know that there's all kinds of other little mom and pop and uh, places that we can go. We used to love to go to a place called Twin Rivers. It wasn't as fast, uh, but you could get one of the best burgers you've ever had in your life there. Hey, it was phenomenal. Amen. It was real meat, I guarantee it. Amen. And you could get a thing loaded with uh, bacon and cheese and all kinds of things. Uh, wonderful burger. Amen. But you won't have, it wasn't a chain. You won't ever find it ever again. Now there used to be, a, I, I wasn't going to put this in there, there used to be a restaurant called Tasty Freeze. Anybody ever remember going to a Tasty Freeze? Hey Amen. I don't know if it was like a, I, I really don't know what region of the country they were real popular in, but supposedly they used to be all over. Hey Amen. Uh, I, I, I knew one that in that little small town I lived in, they came in. Uh, and established there a, a Tasty Freeze. Oh, well, that sounds kind of good. It did have some pretty good ice cream. Uh, in my opinion, they had some pretty good strawberry shortcake. But if you were to go there and try to order anything else, just about, I tried their food one day and I thought, man, that is gross. I'll just come here for ice cream from now on. I'll just, that, but um, anyway, 50,000 just in our nation. Hey man, plus restaurants, plus sit down restaurants, plus hey man, all kinds of uh, of things that we have. But did you know that between uh, children in this country, between the ages six to fourteen, uh, they eat to over one hundred and fifty seven meals a month. Hey man, at fast food restaurants. Now, it's not surprising, but when you think about the numbers, it sounds phenomenal, doesn't it? Hey man, and those fast food restaurants, of course, they have all kinds of different uh, 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 slogans. And they have all kinds of different advertisings. And hey, I'll just give you a few, and you'll, you'll recognize a couple of them tonight. Hey man, that... Um, there's, there's a few out there that you might recognize. Uh, uh, you can go to uh, this place uh, called, uh, what is it here? Arby's. And their current, uh, their current slogan is, Slicing Up Freshness. You'll find out that, that KFC is trying to rebrand themselves. And they, they now, they, you know, their, their slogan right now is, Finger Licking Good. Amen. <laughs> They're trying to rebrand it now. So they used to, they, I think if I remember right, they got to where they couldn't claim chicken anymore. Couldn't use the word chicken. Because none of their stuff was real chicken. After all these years. But I, I, the advertisements that I've heard about recently seem like they must be getting right back to real chicken. Because uh, it, it, they're starting to use it again. And uh, In fact, they're saying Colonel Sanders has come back is the kind of the idea. Colonel Sanders come back. And we're freshly prepared every day and all this. But anyway, Arby's slicing up freshmen's. Wendy's, one of my favorite places. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. <laughs> Got its claim to fame. Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Yeah. Domino's, it doesn't even claim to have better pizza. It just calls itself pizza, the pizza delivery experts. Yeah. <laughs> I'll skip a few of them, but uh, Applebee's, it's a whole new neighborhood. 
Hey man, you go to a uh, Subway. What's their big deal? Re- Subway. Eat fresh. Eat fresh. Everybody's wanting something good. Everybody's wanting something fresh. Taco Bell, think outside the bun. And it's the third, what is it say, the fourth meal or something like that. Uh, hey man, uh, Burger King's probably one of the most famous. Uh, have it your way. Hey man, have it the way you want it. And then McDonald's, of course, I'm loving it. Hey man, hey, everybody's got their little claim to, to something, to fame. Uh, hey man, if I could put a, uh, if I could put a, 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 a slogan, if you will, on, on this table, God has prepared for anybody who wants to come. The Bible says that uh, all who call upon the name of the Lord can be saved. Uh, amen. But I would put a slogan on there. We can put this verse we read tonight. Oh, taste and see if the Lord is good. Uh, or we could take some other uh, things. Uh, we could go to the words of Christ. Uh, amen. He that hungers and thirsts after righteousness uh, shall be filled. Uh, amen. We could take some other words from Jesus to the woman at the well. Amen. And we could, and we could say, uh, he that drinks of the water that I shall give thee uh, shall never thirst again. Uh, amen. But whatever slogan you put on it, uh, whatever spin you try, uh, amen, this table uh, has more to offer, uh, amen, than anything else out there. Uh, amen. You can go other places, uh, but you can't be sitting down uh, at the table of God. Uh, and there's a lot of folks outside the walls of this church uh, that haven't had a good meal uh, in such a long time they've forgotten what it was like amen hallelujah you ever met somebody that didn't hadn't had a home cooked meal in a while and they sit down they had oh i ain't had something like this or maybe they might even say oh this is just like grandma's cooking isn't that what cracker barrel says just like your grandma or something like that hey man it, it, generations are going by and grandma's cooking maybe doesn't sound the same i don't know i hope it does so a lot of folks uh, hey man it's just one of those things uh, hey man generation after generation generation goes by and as generation without a move of God uh, goes by a generation uh, comes through amen that's never heard uh, amen and a message about the true power of the blood of Jesus Christ uh, amen it's being forgotten each and every day uh, amen but let me tell you what I say to that world don't you uh, amen oh taste uh, oh taste God why don't you just try Jesus uh, he never fails uh, amen Amen. If you don't feel feel him in your place, then come on over to here. Amen. We're, we're reaching for God. We're trying to feel for God. Amen. We believe you can feel God in a present way. Amen. Moving in your life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I mean, in the morning, in the morning, me and Sister Brianna get up. Each morning, we make ourselves. A shake or a smoothie, whatever you want to call it. Mine's more of a smoothie. We all and we have absolutely completely different tastes. We're uh, and, uh, and so in the morning she might get up. And she she does whatever you know something different seems like every morning. But uh, she might get out the milk and the yogurt and the honey and the oats and the granola and and mix all that together and uh, and, and think it's just absolutely wonderful. And I take a drink of that and I'm thinking, oh, that is gross. She likes it. Brandley likes it. So, uh. but me in the morning, you know, mine may not even be quite so healthy. I get up, I go in there, and I want something sweet. And so I pick out, I get out that fruit juice, and and I pour some in there, and, and uh, then I get, then I get some frozen fruit, and I put that frozen fruit down in there, and. And uh, it can be different. A lot of times I'll just do strawberries. And put some fruit juice in there and some strawberries. Uh, hey, man, and, and uh, every once in a while I might even uh, I might even throw a little, I get a little bit of that, just that lemonade powder, you know, from, uh, what is it, Minute Maid. Uh, and I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that down in there to give that little tangy flace flavor in there. And then I'll put that in that blender and blend it all up and, and take it with me to work or whatever and drink from that. And I love 
of it. Uh, hey man, uh, it suits my it suits my taste. It suits my flavor. Hey man, and this this uh, this evening, uh, hey man, whatever our needs are, uh, hey man, I I know for a fact that God has got whatever we need. Don't you? Uh, Hey man, I, I, we, we don't preach about it as much. We kind of focus on, on, on negative aspects and then others and evangelism and revival. Hey man, but we, we have forgotten that the central message.